Hi lovelies, welcome to today's video. I have so much satisfying cleaning motivation for today. Today's video is 10 hours of solid, very pleasing cleaning across my whole home. And I've got the tastiest homemade spring roll recipe to share with you later in the video. If you like today's video, please do hit that like button and for weekly motivation for cleaning and healthy recipes and home decor, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me today, lovelies. I knew I had a lot of cleaning to do the next day, so I got organized the night before. I like lists. They keep me focused on the important jobs and you can check things off as you go along, making you feel good you've accomplished something. You can number your jobs in order or star the most important jobs. And if you don't get everything done that day, you know what you need to do next cleaning day. Hi lovelies. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Kirsty. I am dog mom to four gorgeous rescue pups and wife to my husband of 15 years. Today I've got the whole house to clean, starting in the kitchen, bed change, so much laundry to get through, all the sofas need changing today, the windows need cleaning inside and out. Grab your to-do list or your coffee and let's jump into today's video. Before we begin, I must make my coffee. I cut the sugar a few months ago, so now I enjoy my coffee with raw cacao to make it taste chocolatey like a mocha, and I love it with coconut milk. That's my new perfect. And I can't drink my coffee hot, so I have to add cold water. Is that the same for you? Lovely. Do you have surface damage like this in the morning? It takes no time to tidy away this late night surface damage and I love, love, love the kitchen looking neat and all the sides clean down for the fresh day ahead. For me, the kitchen being clean is also like cleaning my mind. Yesterday's mess is gone and today is a clean slate, full of possibilities and opportunities. On a cleaning day, I'm always keen to get my first load of washing in the machine so I can get as many loads of washing clean and dried as possible on that cleaning day. I like to get the dishwasher set off as early as possible and get it empty as early as possible too so I can fill it throughout the day and keep all the mess hidden away. And now it's starting to get warmer Getting my dishes in the dishwasher is great to keep the flies outside. I'm doing a quick but good clean of my kitchen today. I'm cleaning out most of my fridge and antibacterial spraying the shelves that need it. Every morning I like to wipe down all of my sides with this Dettol Apple Scent Antibacterial Spray. Topping up my olive oil bottle. I like it looking pretty on the side next to my hob. And I can always tell my hubby that dinner is made with love. My sweet JJ is like my big white furry shadow. He is always by my side. I'm quickly emptying the sink filter and antibacterial spraying the sides before beginning the dishes. So much better. I love my dishwasher, it's an absolute lifesaver. But some pots and pans and serving trays, glasses and mugs are much better washed by hand. My porridge pan first needs to soak and then needs to scrub with a scouring pad by hand, as do the teacups, and the glasses always need a hand polish to make them lovely and shiny again. I want to be silly, baby, dance night away. I'll kick my shoes up if I want. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it, you can do better, let me show you what Boo Boo was also in a very loving mood. He's very human-like, is Boo Boo. I bottle fed him from around seven days old when we found him on the roadside. So he loves to cuddle and be close to me. Our water is very hard where we live and the lime scale needs to be kept at bay. So every Monday, I boil my kettle with water and white vinegar, then rinse it, fill it again, reboil, and then this removes all the lime scale perfectly. Baby, let your head down, be a little 
<laughs> I would do my washing all day long if I could. I love my rooftop view, but I only come up here to do laundry. However, I know that nature is massively powerful to relax and calm and de-stress me. I really should come up here more often. What do you do to relax and unwind? Let me know in the comment section below. I just wanted to jump on and show you a little hack I have. I have four dogs. Now, giving them treats, proper treats, all the time would cost a fortune. However, what I do is I buy different brands of dog food and fill up tubs and they feed their treats. They still taste lovely. Also, they're going to be healthier for them because they're not full of fat. So actually, they can eat more treats a day if I give them a different brand of dog food. So, if you want to cut a few costs, or if you have lots of dogs too, you know the little tip. Buy them. Buy them. Call them treats. can't fill treat tubs and not dish any out. I'm such a softie for giving these guys treats. Thank you for joining me clean today. I love that you're here. If you're new, please say hi in the comment box. Introduce yourself. Let me know what you're cleaning today or what's on your to-do list. My sink is hard plastic and it stains with tea and turmeric which we use a lot. So, I like to use bleach and it works perfectly. I let it sit for five minutes and it makes the stains disappear. While the bleach works its magic, I'm spraying my sink and taps with lime scale remover, scrubbing with a scouring pad, my brush on a handle that I love, and polishing up the taps to make it all shiny with a microfiber cloth. So if you want, I'll be right there. give a quick vinegar wipe and polish to my cupboard doors to make them sparkle again. They've gotten a little bit tired with cooking mess and finger smudges but in no time they're going to be shiny. I find that if I keep on top of my cupboards and wipe them down like every week it's hardly any effort or any time and it keeps them looking so sparkly I find it so satisfying when my cupboards are shiny. I know most of the world will have celebrated Easter, but here in Cyprus, Easter is celebrated the weekend this video will go live. So I get to keep my beautiful Easter decor up longer, which is great because it looks so pretty. Where you live, have you celebrated Easter yet? Or are you still to celebrate? What are you doing for Easter or what did you do? My full pack of fur babies keeping me company. If you have dogs, are they always with you? I have four gorgeous furry shadows all day long, which is a lot of love. I'm very, very blessed to be their mum. I love my coffees. It feels so good. My kitchen is looking sparkling and it's super clean. Now a quick brush mop and wet mop with my apple scent Dettol and this room is complete and it feels amazingly rewarding. Dishwasher is finished and everything is clean. In five minutes I'll have all of these dishes filed away and organised in their homes. Then the dishwasher is ready to get dirty dishes hidden away and keeping the flies away for the rest of the day. I'm always amazed at how many teaspoons I get through every day. Is it just me with excessive teaspoon usage? How many teaspoons do you get through in a day? I know I cook a lot and drink a lot of coffee, but I run out of teaspoons almost daily. And I've just counted. And I've got over 20 teaspoons. Is it just me? Or do you use a lot of teaspoons too? This perplexes me every day. Sunshine and the wind is drying these sofa sheets beautifully today, which is so perfect on sofa change day. It's often a bit windier than I'd like it to be here, 
but these towel clips are amazing at keeping my throws on the roof rather than blown around the neighborhood. Try to make it up for my mistakes. I like to quickly vacuum the sofas every time I change the throws to keep them dirt and crumb and fur free as possible. The throws I change every two to four weeks, depending on how wet and dirty it is outside and what the puppy paws bring in. While the vacuum cleaner's out, I like to clean all the edges and the door sliders from fur and dust as it builds up so fast, I think because it's so dry here. On sofa change day, I vacuum and mop under the sofas too. It definitely de-stresses and calms me to know that under my sofas are clean. Stay, stay here with me. I have two sets of glass patio doors downstairs. I try and clean them inside and out once a week, if not they look too grubby. Cleaning them regularly makes it an easier task and I find white vinegar and water work spectacularly for me with a couple of microfiber cloths. I like my glass sparkling all of the time and my puppies like to kiss them all the time. So I touch up the lower sections throughout the week. This is a 10 hour cleaning day. It felt so good to make my home so clean and so many calories burnt. I normally feel guilty if I don't manage a workout on a cleaning day, but I've recently looked at how many calories are burnt when I clean. And for my size, I think I burn around 200 calories an hour, which is awesome. So cleaning is amazing for my mind, my body, and of course my family. This squeegee is my new toy and I'm finding it super to remove the thick dirt outside because these windows had been rained on and then dust fell as it does at this time of year from the Sahara and then it sticks to the glass windows like mud. The squeegee made quick work of removing the dirt and made the microfiber cloth and vinegar only need one cloth to make it sparkle again in record time. I'm very happy with my new cleaning purchase. If you're enjoying today's cleaning video, please hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe for weekly cleaning and homemaking motivation, as well as healthy recipes. I'm so happy you're here with me today and we're tackling our to-do list together. Today I have the best healthy spring roll recipe I know you're going to love. It's at the end of this video and these are the tastiest, healthiest spring rolls I've ever eaten. I'm sure you'll love them too. And make them again and again. They're very healthy and very low calories too. I love the sofas looking perfectly straight and it feels so good they look and are so clean and I adore them smelling so lovely. What gives you the most satisfaction when you clean it or tidy it? Now this sofa looks perfect and that feels great. It doesn't take me long to give a quick vacuum of the sofa and underneath as well as a quick mop and it feels so cleansing. For sure rewarding. I like to keep the fur baby's bowls clean. The lime scale makes this a very tough task. This lime scale spray does do the job with a lot of elbow grease and a scouring pad. If you have a handy lime scale hack for metal bowls like this, be sure to leave it in the comments section. I find a fresh scouring pad and 10 minutes later and these are gleaming. So I let them dry in the sunshine. I got the sweetest cleaning break for five minutes, chilling with my pups. They all came for cuddles and kisses and I like to enjoy these moments. Do you have dogs or any pets? If you do, do you have throws on your sofas or do you just clean your sofas often? In our last house, our sofas were leather and the throws became messy daily because they just slipped off. Now we've got fabric sofas. I'm happy having throws because they stay in place really well with a tiny tweak each day, no effort. And then keep the sofas so clean. 
I'm curious to know what you do. I do like how neat you can make throws on a fabric sofa. I'm still loving this blush rose gold pink for springtime with these silver grey colours. Yes, I went back for more cuddles in the sun of my pups. These moments are priceless. I, I that you can describe. Final sofa to strip, shake the throws, wash and remake. Then I'm finished in the living area today. Boo Boo adores being cuddled like a baby. He would stay here all day if he could. I like to shake the throws, so less fur enter the washing machine, so the washing machine lasts longer. My favourite fabric conditioner is Kiss by Lenore. It's like summer flowers in a bottle. It's so nice for all the fabrics to smell beautiful. It makes me smile with every wish for freshness. My sofas always smell lovely. What's your favourite fabric conditioner? Maybe I'll change one day. It's a symphony from my heart. My whole kitchen and living area is now squeaky clean and detox clean, deferred and it smells divine. I love that fresh clean smell. I know the sofas will smell amazing now for weeks. Every time I move or a puppy moves on the sofa, that summer beautiful flower scent will just shine through. It feels so rewarding knowing there's no dirt, no fur or dog treats hiding under my sofas, attracting the insects. such a good feeling, a very satisfying feeling, knowing my whole living area is perfectly clean. There was a lot of throws to wash and dry this day and I like to get them all done in the same day and there was just enough sunshine hours, hopefully, <laughs> to get these all dry. I feel very accomplished if I can strip, wash and dry all the sofa throws in one day because the next day I can get on with our normal laundry which is overflowing. I love my leaf blower it's so quick and handy and it saves my back it's great for fur and dirt removal and leaves in these door sliders. To use the squeegee I quickly soak the window in hot water and vinegar then squeegee it has definitely sped up the cleaning of the outside of these windows since the Saharan dust is making them so dirty and they need cleaning weekly at the moment. sunshine had just enough time to dry my final throws. Luckily, just as well I started early. To my rug in my living area, I actually use two duvets doubled up. Why? Well, it's fantastic as it creates a huge dog bed on the floor extra seating. It's easy to clean if any of the dogs have an accident or muddy paws. If someone drops a remote control or an Xbox pad, there's no damage and it's cheap. So I love it. The sun was close to setting and it had been a really long cleaning day already, but I had wanted to get into this bedroom to get it straightened up all day. So I was so happy to be in here. I had deep cleaned the bedroom a week or two ago so I knew it wasn't going to take a lot of effort and it was going to feel so good when it was all clean again. 
I shook all the duvets and the throws over the balcony to get the excess fur away. We have a laminate floor in the bedroom and the puppy claws throughout the night would keep me awake when they walk around, so I cover them in duvets. It's a cheap, easy hack. This works perfectly for me because I'm such a light sleeper. If we owned this house, I'd put carpets down, but because it's rented, this is my cheap and effective solution. This brush mop I find is highly effective for fur removal. It works like a magnet for fur and dust. That's amazing for me with four pups. This is just less than one week of puppy fur and dust. Oh, the smell of fresh bedding. Whenever I change the bed, I can't wait to get in it at night. It smells so amazing. Do you feel the same when you change the bed? You just can't wait to jump in it? And that is 10 hours of cleaning across my whole home, almost wrapped up. It's time to make my super tasty, healthy, homemade spring rolls. They are so nutritious, they could be eaten as a meal or as a side dish or a starter. I'm sure you'll love them. Yes, that is a tiny wee hole my little Phoebe baby chewed in it. I think the first day I brought it home, I really should get around to sewing it. I remember to get the final throws in before sunset, but I am sorry. I hoped it would be a gorgeous sunset this evening, but it was too dusty. That's great. I achieved 95% on my to-do list. Let's make the tastiest veggie spring rolls ever. These are the rainbow vegetables I wanted to use for taste, texture and nutrition. And I find these flavours make my spring rolls taste amazing. I like to add tofu for protein and texture. I carefully slice the tofu block into strips so they're the perfect shape for spring rolls. I make sure not to cut them too thin so they don't fall apart. To remove the water from the tofu, I add layers of kitchen towel and my heavy book. Use the vegetables you enjoy for your spring rolls. I've chosen a variety of flavours, textures and the range of colours are both pretty in the spring roll and provide a wide variety of nutrients. I'm cutting all of my veg into strips and organising into piles so they're the perfect shape for the spring rolls when we roll them. Use the quantity of each vegetable that you enjoy. The vegetables I used today created 20 big, fat, juicy spring rolls. This quantity was two good meals for us, as once prepared, they last really well in the fridge at least a day. Or it'd be perfect for a family-sized dinner or a start for 10 people. I cut my white and portobellini mushrooms from the fridge into strips and I pre soak my shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms I buy from the Chinese shop in bulk. They add the most amazing flavour to these spring rolls, soups and stir fries. We love the flavour and texture of shiitake mushrooms. I'm adding my garlic puree, minced ginger, red Thai curry paste, chilli and garlic sauce with olive oil and a little pink salt and making a paste in a pan. If you like your spring rolls spicy, add more chilli or red Thai curry paste. Carefully, so the tofu does not break, I'm frying them in my pan for a couple of minutes, letting the flavours sink in. I like to use glass rice noodles. These cook in the pan of boiling water for three minutes. You can pre-cook and set them aside once they're drained if that's easier. I add my shiitake mushroom first for flavour. For the last couple of minutes of cooking, I quick fry my veg in this order to keep them fairly crisp. I fry the vegetables on high heat only for a couple of minutes. This keeps them crispy and makes them flavoured. Finally, I add my glass noodles and cut them with scissors so they mix well for about 30 seconds so they soak in the flavour. You can get two types of rice paper. One is for fresh Vietnamese style rice paper rolls and one is for cooked spring rolls like we're making today. Both taste great, but the cooking rice papers are better for this task 
as they're not fragile and they don't stick to each other. But I'll make both up so you can see the difference. For the perfect spring roll, I like to carefully add a little of each ingredient, so each spring roll has the perfect flavour explosion. You put my favourite song on, I put my feet up, and we just... I place my ingredients central and low on my rice paper, fold in the sides and roll tightly from the bottom. It's easy to get into the rhythm and they're worth the effort. Rice paper needs soaking for 15 to 30 seconds to become soft enough to roll. So I set up two plates of water and soak my rice papers on rotation. The more see-through spring rolls can be eaten fresh like this. The biggest downside is they're fragile when handling and cooking. I like to very lightly spray and cover my spring rolls in olive oil. To me, this creates the very best texture when cooked. Forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know. I normally preheat my air fryer for a minute or two, so it's sizzling when I add my spring rolls. I evenly space the rolls and cook on 200 degrees C for 13 to 15 minutes, turning halfway. You can make your own healthier dipping sauce. Today I'm using my favourite tasty Thai sweet chilli sauce. I like to quickly kitchen towel any excess oil off, but as you can see, very little comes off them. Then serve on something pretty like this slate and enjoy the tastiest veggie spring rolls everyone will love. Thank you so much for joining me today to clean and cook. Make sure you like and subscribe for weekly healthy recipes, cleaning and homemaking motivation. I hope you have a beautiful day lovelies. See you next time.